And like, so the idea of the way I want to try to build the dollhouse deck thing is that I just want dollhouse to be, yeah, the pod here is Oswald. I just want the dollhouse to exist in the deck as something you can like go get in the mid to late game when like you have stuff that has died. And it's like a permanent that's not easy for most decks to kill that's going to like drag you back into the game. So it's like if you have dead thought monitors, you're drawing cards. If you have a dead Urza, you're making constructs. And now you have an Urza. Like, it's very powerful. Yeah, good uh good opener. Go, Esper Sentinel. Kill them. Cause them mild levels of inconvenience. Oh, he's so handsome. Hot. we got take it I will take it yeah yes 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 yeah dollhouse of horrors sorry I, I, I had it on screen earlier Roy uh, yeah, I closed it I'm, I'm a little upset they didn't call it little dollhouse of horrors not that I'm a huge fan of Little Shop of Horrors. I just feel like it wouldn't have been a big stretch. Would have been a really long name, though. Still. Oh, blue-white. Please, no fire ice. Chalice, sure. Yeah. Feed me, Oswald. That is correct, Roy. I don't want to jam Nettle Cyst here. Man, that, that chalice is actually really frustrating. Again. Like, I'd rather just play Icar Wellspring. I cannot monitor. Not even close. Actually, I'm close. I have four mana and it's reduced by two. I can set up to do it next turn. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all good. It's not your bad. I mean, it's totally reasonable to miss that. That's that's a draw. Because this solves my chalice problem. And if I play like Teferi 3 to tempo me back here, I know they're going to Wrath, but we can probably set up around it. Ending. You know, on Oswald? Yeah.
Well, this time, this turn I can Thought Monitor. I think I'd rather pay more for the Thought Monitor so that if I draw a Saga, I can play it this turn. Because I think I'm about to get Wrath. Again, I'm playing an 80 card deck. It's entirely possible. We just, yeah, didn't find. Um... Uh, I don't have the queue open. Oh, I do have the queue open, Tony. I think I do. Yeah. You can do it yourself. You can do it yourself. Following these simple instructions. That's how you do that. I assume that is the correct song. Unless that is a more famous version of what you were suggesting. Yeah, this chalice is gonna murder me if uh if they have the wrath now and I don't draw draw out of it reasonably. Alright, so they're on the, the good mana base. Oh, they're on four color. Oh. Is this better for me or worse? I don't actually know. I think worse. Certainly not good this game. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I could go for lethal here. But when the Nettle Sis doesn't resolve because they've obviously set up counter spell here, I just kill the Ran Six and four them. Probably have Solitude next turn. I really think there's a better way to play this turn though. Yeah. I think I'll almost be more afraid if they don't counter this. Compadres, it is imperative that we crush the Thanks freedom the fighters before the start of the rainy season. J J and remember, J a shiny new donkey for J whoever Shimmer? brings me the head of Colonel Montoya. I do have a Orion to grab. About to be in big trouble. Compadres, it is imperative that we crush the Freedom Fighters before the start of the rainy season. And remember, a shiny new donkey for whoever brings me the head of Colonel Montoya. That that command is not up to date, Fleckmaster. I should I should write the new one right now. I'm not going to, but I should. Annoying. Bounce the E up. Oh, sorry, I thought you were here, Roy, because I was asking for your help to draft the new one. Uh, I have now submitted for partner. Uh, I showed the, the screenshot on stream. Um, however, yeah, here we go. Um, however, it is still very important and helpful that we keep the numbers high over the next week or two until they get back to me. Um, so. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, we can play the Urza afterwards. I have a counter spell. I'm assuming they hit that. What metric? Uh, I mean, uh, viewership is the most important one, I think. But is Nettle Sis lethal? Yes. Yes, it is. That's fine.
What is this? Oh, Helix. Okay. Still have lethal. Um, but according to Shane and other people who were dropping by earlier and dropping gratuitous numbers of gift subs on top of me, they said that that matters too. I, I Maybe they measure all the metrics and they just don't tell you that they do that. Like, they're not totally explicit about what the process entails exactly. And, like, that's fine. Like, it's not really a problem. Because um, no matter how much they told you, they'd actually, like, be measuring. They can always do whatever they want, right? Um, with their own with their own business. But, uh... And they, I, I think, much like Magic, they just don't want people gaming it. Oh, we went 3-2, Jig. It would have been... Four one if I hadn't screwed up that sequence against that one sequence against Tron. The deck seemed pretty good at what it was trying to do. Okay, this is looking good. That's the play. I should have the Citadel. Probably fine. That's perfect. Hello. Triggers. Smark? Oh, this is Nasif deck without Kahira and with Helix I thought it was stock blue white until they played a Ren and Six into a Teferi I do love Triumphs I think the triumphs are a wonderful design. Don't need batter skull here. Uh, Antonio one thirty nine zero one thirty nine or what? Yeah, one three ninety zero one three ninety thirteen ninety thirteen ninety thirteen ninety. Let's call it that. Oh yeah, it's it's definitely become a lot more uh, hard to spot these decks on the first couple turns. I played it against an opponent who I swore they were on creativity because they went like um, Ketria Trium into um, uh, Sacred Foundry. I was like, this has to be creativity, and it turned out that no, they were just on one of the uh, one of the new piles. Yeah, I'm not keeping the one lander. Especially with Thought Monitor. There we go. We we think the like the it's potential that uh that there's a high potential that New Capena has the, the rest of the triumphs, but it's not actually a fact. They should be in there, but they might not be for no good reason. <laughs> Jig. Territorial Kabus or Niv Mizzet? Por que no los dos? Chalice. I wonder how many chalice they're on. Your Kabu fan. There's already a Mardu Triome. What, in standard standard Alucartes? I wouldn't worry about him in standard. Am I getting Nettle Sist or Lightning Greaves? Lightning Greaves is really annoying for control players.
I mean, I would like them to be called Triomes Auto, but I mean, yeah, they might call them territories. They can call them anything they want, right? So what Watsy did with Throne of Eldraine, and you know how busted... What? Sorry, what? Oh, they, they just topped down the whole set? Sort of. I think three and four color decks are already too easy in standard. Oh, that's a hell of a draw. Unless they have Archmage's Charm. They're not going to have Archmage's Charm in their deck. No shot. Maybe they'll have Solitude here. But if they have to Solitude on this spot, I really don't care. Yeah, they're on Field of Ruin with Ren and Six, obviously. The Synergy Jig. The Synergy. You're not thinking about the Synergy. How many basics did they even run? Probably exactly four. But Field of Ruin isn't like when once you have four basics and you're looping Field of Ruin with Ren and Six, like you really don't care anymore. Oh, there you go. Freak's, Freak's got the read. Yeah, he plays a lot of those decks. Or he has. They missed their land drop? Mm hmm. It's the best way for me to bully them. It's not just jamming Urza, that's bad. I'm just cast lightning reeves. If they want to counter this, it's fine. I know you do, freak. You love your money pile. They're gonna ending my mystic now. Yeah, Blood Moon's great. I love the the Obosh Red deck. Obosh Red with uh, Dress to Kill, Chandra Dress to Kill is gonna be fun. All right, friends. Am I stacking Culture Complete next turn to Thopter Foundry? <laughs> it just might be the right play. Sack the clue? Not, not possible. Cannot be done. Literally impossible. I mean, I want to complete the Stone Forge, but I, I, I'm many turns away from doing that. She brought that demon into the world. I could sack the Greaves, but I'd rather sack the Cauldra. I think pressuring their Teferi is good. And they should come down a little bit, Freak, but I think people who are, like, really excited about the, the prices coming down uh, are probably going to be a bit disappointed. Okay, so we'll just put Urian in hand and uh, sack the clue on their end step. If they cast Archmage's Charm, I swear to God. Okay, good. <laughs> like, there, there's no way they're playing X number of Archmage's Charm in their deck, is there? Solitude, to Fairy. They're probably playing Supreme Verdict, but at least that's not blue, blue, blue. 
And they found fourth land. It's probably Mind Sculptor, Mind Sculptor comes down here. I would imagine. Oh, right, Omnath. Let's forget about Omnath. That's fine. So now I'm going to show my opponent the meaning of the word value. I mean, it's not GG. They could just verdict, right? Like, how how much mana do I have? Six. Okay. So I can attack first. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't have more. I should leave the Greaves here, though, because everything else is going to get flickered. Yeah, OK. Yeah. Trigger. I don't want to flicker the lightning greaves. I don't need to bluff anything silly. How long until Watsi makes hybrid mana costs not miserable to pay for? I don't know. Whenever we get the arena auto tapper. All right, what am I getting here? Just metal cyst. Bird slap, baby bird slap. What's up, Cave Dan? How you doing, brother? Brother! Oh, yeah. Gave that out of here. Why not equip to attack? I wouldn't have enough mana to cast Orion, and now they're only... Oh, I could have done that. Yes, I, I, I that's the thing, to equip it to the Orion. Sorry, I, did, I never thought about the part where the Orion was in play. Yes, I, I'm aware it's free to equip. For some reason, my brain was like, Orion's not in play. And, well, I just missed an attack for four in a game where it might be a big deal, but otherwise really good. Nice top four, Cave Dan. Nice top four. Dan the killer. <laughs> oh, they had exactly the thing. So, oh, what a tilt. I can't believe they had that there. Uh, well, this sucks. Okay, well, they needed exactly that, and they had it. Not the end of the world. Like, I have a smashing nail assist, but that's a good draw. Big Bird the Bay? Ooh. Four. Would I rather play that than Nettle assist this turn? Yeah, while well, they're tapped down, right? Wait, how much is Sist smashing for? I guess four? How dare you, Cave Dan? Let's draw a Saga? Those are okay draws. Spike didn't scoop me in. It was funny because like one of the zoomers came into my into my stream like when I was in the last round of the of the modern challenge and they were like, "What? Why hasn't he scooped you yet?" And I was like, "I don't. Yeah. I never expect anyone to scoop me in. It's never happened to me before, and I wouldn't expect it." You can you can draw in paper tournaments auto, just not online. There's just no there's no functionality for it. It just doesn't exist. 
So, oh, man, second Omnath. As long as they don't have... Okay, that's that's huge. So I've got Oswald here. Oswald gets me out from this damn chalice. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but that's true in all tournaments, Tenorless. You can, you can always ask for your opponent to concede. That, that's totally legal. You just can't incentivize them to do so. I just want everyone to know I'm almost def definitely missing lethal somehow right now. But I'm going to go ahead and not worry about it. You can only ask them that they'd like to concede once? Yeah, I mean, otherwise it seems like you're coercing them, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to make them have the second verdict, I guess. Get another Nettle Cyst. Sort of the meek, because I already have the Thopter Foundry. Sure. Yeah, I can't imagine they actually have a good answer for Thopter Sword combo. Uh, and we can still play... Inspector. Hey, Blitz. Just taking game actions. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just over here taking some game actions. Fiddlebender is protected. One, two, three, four, five, six artifacts. I, I, yeah, that's very classic. The the original Mana Symbol channel was was Niv to Light, and then the second form of Mana Symbol channel was uh, Iceberg and uh, Urza Midrange. The Trophy Race you're going to win starts on Wednesday. I might be retiring the Trophy Race Spider. We'll, we'll see. I'm going to take a week off of doing this week in Modern after the, this season's over, and we'll, we'll see see where everything's going with it. I guess I have more incentive not to now, because, you know, I want to challenge and people might pay more attention to it, but, like, I'm just not sure. So I'm assuming this is a Fury or a Solitude hardcast. Deluge. Oh, that's totally fine. So they're digging for that verdict hard. about throwing your hat in the ring. Well, wow, that's more reason for me to keep it going then, isn't it? Uh, the modern trophy leaderboard race, auto. It's a thing I cover on This Week in Modern. Brandon, I haven't given you too much grief about never streaming. Well... Most of the trophy competitors do not stream most of their trophy getting, right? Like, that's just never been the case. That is, it's never been a fact that, like, most trophies by anyone who has been in the trophy race have been earned on stream. The only one who's remotely close to that is Aspiring Spike. And even about half of his uh, are done off stream. Yeah, you probably stream more, right? Like, you, you stream, like, a couple hours of trophy grinding every every couple days. So what did they find? Iteration? EE -E on... Oh, that's horrifying. Wow, that's fucked. Uh, yeah, I was not ready for that one. At all. 
Jesus. Yep. That's absolute brutality, and I was not ready for that. My heart. Jesus. Wow. Well, it's a four-color deck, Carrion Lich, and I don't know if that's necessarily true. This is also a sideboarded game, so I don't think it's necessarily correct for them to bring it in this matchup. I don't know. They just completely annihilated me with it, so maybe it is. And they still have counter spell up, potentially. So I can't just jam this Nettle Cyst, and I lost the Stoneforge Mystic. I was not expecting to be devastated like that. I was expecting, potentially, for them to hit me with... Um, verdict but not that jesus that was way too way too brutal i don't know if we can come back from that like i play the no assist in their counter spell but where does that get me nowhere There's no way this keeps up with them. And they have the flashback on memory deluge this turn if they want it. I guess I could pre-needle one of their planeswalkers. Yeah, this is bad. I'm just playing sloppy now because I got so devastated there. Felt like I was really ahead, but they had the nuts a couple turns in a row. Yeah. I mean, at least they're down a counter spell. I get to draw a card. Okay. Losing the greaves and everything though, like ugh. I can't I can't get any of that back from the graveyard. It's really brutal. Oh yeah, Spider, I recorded the bit of the challenge today. Or I recorded the replay of the bit of the challenge today where I was playing against you. Uh, I found a really cool punt that I made, but more importantly, I, I made sure explicitly to describe in there that, like, I wasn't trying to slow roll you at any point. I just don't know, like, I wanted to get you on as few cards as possible that I didn't know about to make sure that there was no crazy bananas, one of the four mana white card that just, like, shuts down everything I ever wanted to do and makes me lose because that is the kind of thing that you have found before and eaten people alive with how to structure a brew off i mean there's a lot of different ways you could do it right give people a card uh to to brew give them a time limit then make them play x number of leagues and see who has the best record you know that would be a way to do a leg of the brew off. Um, they killed my thought. Oh, because they want to protect the the Teferi. Okay. It's it's not up yet. Uh, it, it's I I just I just recorded it right before I started streaming, and then I gotta do all the editing and everything and. He likes the Sentinel. Oh, I know Alucard is. I mean, I'll be able to kill them rather quickly if, if I can ever kill it. Oh, I screwed up. I should have used the Springleaf off the germ there. That's fine. It's, 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 it's good enough.
Wow. How many damn lightning helixes are they playing? All right. Respect. I guess they don't like losing to burn. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they still have the flashback on the memory deluge. That's what they're going to do now into the Teferi Plus. So we're basically dead, but I'm going to make them take all their take all their game actions. I, I cannot believe how they clawed back into this game. But Omnath into Teferi, Omnath into Verdict, Omnath into whatever is, is a good way to do it. Sacred Fire. Oh, that's the new card, right? The really bad helix? Yeah. Yikes. That's pretty good for standard, though. That's a really good rate for standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's... I'm just saying that's a really good rate for standard. It doesn't mean it's actually good enough, but like c compared to like War Leader's Helix, right? Which is just so much worse. War Leader's Helix is a joke, right? Oh. I mean, they killed the germ token that I didn't really even care about at this point, so it's fine, but. Oh, thanks, Roy. I love it, Roy. <laughs> Quality, oh, character limit. Character limit of 500. All right, I'm gonna cut out this little section here. Character limit? Oh, it's so close. All right, that's that's what we got for now, Roy. It's really good. And then No, I, I know, Roy. You can edit it to however you like it. And go ahead and just, just... The general concept is great. If you want to cut somewhere else, cut somewhere else. No, no, I, I didn't read it, like, very, very carefully um, to find the exact spot that should be cut. I was just trying to get it to work. Three. This thought monitor currently costs... Four. So let's attack Big Tef. See if they block or if they do anything here. Yeah, so, so the way Soul Player works is just like the only things that it gets is exactly what's listed. Um, yeah, Pr protection's not listed, so it won't get protection. Card is very straightforward. Probably have another memory deluge. Eh, let's just jam the thought monitor into it. No, it's not a variant of hexproof. Magic cards are very literal. Like, they do what they say, they say what they do.
Yeah, protection is, is actually the original. All original flavor shroud. Hey, look, it's the card I said it would be. All right, while they're taking this exhaustive turn with a million decision points, I'm going to... Uh, uh, I completely agree with you, Freak. I don't think that's unpopular at all. I also think they should never have called it Shroud. I think can't be the target of spells or abilities, period, is much more clear. And just teach people, no, no, see, it says can't. Not can't by opponents, can't. It's not that hard. When when we were 13-year-olds, we got it. It's not hard. It's just not. me bold okay they're gonna have two mana so we'll play teferi first they will have to counter that then i have the nettle cyst which i can put in and then equip to the thought monitor oh no i can't Well, they, I mean, they've already put some pretty aggressive ward costs on cards. Okay. Oh, I just attack down there, Teferi. I have enough damage here. I don't mind the Ren and Six. But I probably have to get rid of the Omnath. So we do this. Oh. So play Urza. I have one, two, three, four mana. That's not enough. Okay, we'll we'll do this the easier way. So play Oswald, one and a blue ending. Ran and seeks. And we are make combat and push on the ferries. There we go. Uh, you wanted to edit com, Roy. Okay, it, it, it got it anyway. They found a verdict. Then they'll play the Omnath, but that's okay because I have Urza. No, I think you're just missing some from Standard Auto. There's, like, a black vampire that has, like, ward, like, pay four life, or there's... No, there's one that's discard a card. I just I just think that's really powerful. I think forcing your opponent to discard a card to kill your creature when you can then counter it if you're playing blue-black is really backbreaking. Oh, I, I know. They're, they're, they're screwed on clock. They're, they also have to win another game, Kuki. Which may not be clear, but, uh, yeah, they actually have to win another game after this one, if they win this one. So I don't think they're going to make it. No, no, I, I think it looks great, Roy. 
I think it looks great. Dan. I could suit up Urza, but I'm not concerned about it. We use their Teferi to kill my Construct and then attack down my Teferi. Oh, for the love of... I finally drew a Saga and they immediately had Spreading Seas. Which I guess, like, I just didn't realize they were playing Spreading Seas in their Lightning Helix, Solitude, Counterspell, Engineered Explosives deck. They endinged my Sword of the Meek. I didn't have a Thopter Foundry I could get. They played it game one. Yeah, they played it on a regular land. Yeah. Mort, it's okay. They paid for that clock, damn it. They're going to use it. Don't worry about it. Another Teferi. But what if we add another Teferi? Il est français. How else can they grumble to themselves if this was in paper? They'd win. No, they wouldn't. No, I, I'm up. I'm up a game. They would lose if we went to time. I would win. That, that's not even true. They didn't even untap their lands. I'm just gonna take the time to do my stuff here. You, you enjoy yourself over there, opponent. In whatever way. You're currently choosing to do. Trigger. <laughs> it's my clock and I'll they'll, I'll they'll clock if I tell them to. Get that weak ass bird shit out of here. That's what they did to my uh my Orion. Alright. Here's my nine eleven sized uh Urza smash. Sorry, eight eleven. He's a big boy. I told you, Mord. It's top tier. Top tier Tom Cardi. I love that someone was like, uh, Tom Bombadil happened. I'm like, yeah, it's dude, it's in the song. Meet Meet a Weird Bush guy is the Hobbits meeting Tom Bombadil. Well, it's just the right it's the right time in the in the song. Well, and they already mentioned attacked by Tweez. Zing. He's not hating on Republicans, Roy, just weird ones. Hmm. All right, 12 human safe foods for your cat to eat, Mord. Fish, meat, cheese, bananas, berries, melon. Huh, dogs, most dogs can't have melon. Or, sorry, they can't have, the, you gotta be careful with the seeds. Uh, carrots, rice, pumpkin, oatmeal, eggs, and spinach. There you go. Yeah. A little bit of white rice won't help hurt your kid, but don't, don't go, don't go crazy. Don't go crazy. Obviously bone out, yeah. Can I keep this? No shot, right? I mean, I could cycle the relic on too. I'm gonna keep this. This is an unwise choice. But hell, I just beat Chalice on one two games in a row, so. Mort is proud. I think you're more proud of the challenge win than you are of this. Ooh! But, but I need it. All right. 
Uh, well... <laughs> this is like... This is like, Mord, when you, when you, when you keep your hand with Draneth Magistrate in the recruiter deck, and then they're like, oh, uh, suspend rhinos. You're like, yes! Why is this game still going? I think they could play through a single relic. I'm hoping they go hard on, on this turn, which means I get to crack the relic and draw. There's a stinkweed. They might be able to go hard this turn. So I can let them have the two Narco Amoebas and crack the Relic at end of turn. And I think I have to, because otherwise they can cast a, one of their two drops and go even more nutso. So this is more than a little unfortunate. Damn. I'm not going to be able to beat that, so I have to crack now. Okay, if we don't find a land, I'm, I'm dead. That's okay. Jeez! I mean, out of all the lands I could find, that's pretty good. Which artifact pile have you liked the most? Um... I don't know. I like... I've liked the blue white fiddle bender variants that I've kind of created that um are very light on Thopter Sword combo, but they like have a little. Okay, we've got a silver smote and a prize amount. Okay. I think it's this this one's over. I don't think I'm coming back from this. This is too much. Oh, they don't have an, a land. Oh, they're just post combat doing it for no. Wild. Okay. Oh, there's two... Wait, wait, what, what? Holy crap. Wow. All right. Uh, maybe. Oh, wait. I have another artifact hate card, so I can get rid of the prize amalgams with the Soul Guide Lantern. Although I probably should get a Springleaf Drum, but I'll get it next turn. Wait, I don't have the other graveyard hate card in my main deck? Crap. Well, Springleaf Drum it is, then. Yeah, okay. So that, this is fine. Play this. I guess I can portable hole one of the Narc Amoebas. Let me just block the Silver Smoke Ghoul or the Prize Amalgam next turn. Having both Constructs up is just better, right? Then casting an Esper Sentinel or a Portable Hole here. Yeah. Strex that Dredge deck seems considerably worse than the older ones with Loam. Am I just wrong? I mean, I've been run over by run over by it several times already. So I I don't know. I have no idea. It's it seems about as good. If you're not prepared for it and you don't have a lot of sideboard cards for it, it will just run over you and you will die. Like, it's way more consistent. They get to keep sevens a lot now. Because they have so many, um, like, an analogs for Cathartic Reunion. No, sometimes they are playing two con flags. I've I've definitely seen them playing two con flags before. Should I bobble here? Yeah, I really need to hit a land. It didn't double kill my constructs to do so. Close call though. Yeah, loam is too dirty. Well, the, the other thing is freak. They're stretched in colors. They're playing every color but green now instead of playing every color. But uh, wow, they're still not hitting a land next turn. Instead of having hit playing every color but white. Good lord. Uh... Is it worth making the construct here? 
Almost definitely not. Shadow Spear? I mean, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I think so. We also get to play Esper Sentinel this turn. The like contract here is mana neutral. It's not. Yeah, the, the relic is was the first thing I got ahead of early. Thanks, Radio John Murphy. It's been a lot of accolades, and I... It's been very intense. I know they're not drawing a land this turn, so I don't have to be super worried about them, like, conflagging my board or anything like that. They're just going to dredge anyway, probably. We also play Esper Sentinel. Yep. Makes this seven. It's supposed to be pretty far out of reach. Looking to dodge them hitting um, like a bunch of creeping chills here. But on the flip side, wow, they didn't? Did they not dredge? I don't think they dredged. They did not. They were hoping to draw land, and I knew the top card was Cathartic Reunion. So they don't get to do anything here. All right. Looks like we're in really good shape. Yep. Holy jumping. I love Versus Saga. Alright, so we've got Relic, Soul Guide, Soul Guide. That's all I have for that stuff. Pipping Needle. Eh. Thanks for the follow there. Reaper of Quebec. I guess prismatic endings? No, they're okay, usually. We're not so choked on mana. Cauldra is almost always worse than Batter Skull, but sometimes it's not. Probably Shaven Nettles. Oh, Crucible. We don't need a Crucible. All right. All right. Turn three, Urza. Misha's bobble for another shot at Grave Hate. They're playing something for zero? They were paying costs. What are you paying costs for? What are you doing? What's going on here? Uh, nothing, nothing. Just, uh... Just, uh... Just checking the mana costs. Yeah, 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 that's what it is. Right, should see... The, uh, I'm sorry, what now? Whoa. Well, that sucks. I should have bobbled. Holy crap, that's annoying. Wow. Uh, I guess I'm impressed? S... They showed us a bunch of Streakhorns last game. Obviously, they boarded up the Streakhorns, but still. Holy crap. Yeah, I know it's on one. <laughs> they did nothing with that turn? No, they did, they did not do nothing. 
They did not do nothing. They cut off half, like my whole hand. Yes, I like our odds when Sora's I'm not, I'm not, I don't think we're dead or anything. I just like, oh, that. That was not okay. That's really messed up. Well, their dredge sucked. Oh, there we go. Save me, prismatic ending. Oh, sorry, yeah, uh, we're, we're currently listening to Santa Esmeralda's Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood, which is most famous from being in the Kill Bill soundtrack. Well, we'll get to get rid of their ox. They're dredging at least nine. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Wait, is it? No, it's not that much. It's just two prize amalgams. We can beat that. Yeah, we can beat this, no problem. Just give him one of these. I think that's the way you should phrase that, Roy. <laughs> I mean, obviously you're allowed to. We're doing stuff, people. We're doing stuff. All right. I guess I'll stop. Who watches the mods? Who moderates the moderators? They didn't dredge. Oh, they have nothing to dredge. Weird. And I took their ox out, so they have no, no power in the graveyard. Power. Zing. Prismatic ending on my soul guide lantern. I mean, I guess I'll wipe out their graveyard, sure. What what's in there? One silver spell ghoul? Probably just draw a card in response, yeah? I can beat a silver smoke ghoul. The rest of the cards matter if they like, I don't know, they have another ox, which they probably do, but I'll just draw here. I just really don't care about Silver Smoke Ghoul at the moment. one battle all right trigger oh 
four. I play a land. Let's spin. Not by tapping my white sources. I don't need more white. I learned it from watching you, freak, okay? I learned it from watching you! Batter skull. I will take it. Oh, really? You're done now? Okay. <laughs> that, um... This deck has done this twice. We've gone uh, 2 0 4 0 to start the league. There's something to it. Yeah, yeah, there, there was also the hero. <laughs> there was a lot of options there. Well, yeah, but Freak, as I said in, in my most recent tweet, like, the people who brought the deck from that form to this form, like, I've lauded you enough times, and I always will, but um, in, the, in the tweet that I sent... After the challenge, I was saying, like, the people who brought it from that to this were Mr. Ray, Ting Feng Wan, uh, Zan Sayed, and uh, Wapo. Those people all had a huge amount of input on the development from there to here. I just did most of the playing. But, like, I don't need to say how much work I did on it in the tweet where I won a challenge, right? I don't think that's necessary. And the problem is, as a drummer um, in, in, in bands, you don't get a lot of attention. And you make your peace with that. That's, like, not the point of you. Um, and... Like, the, the singers get a lot more attention, but they're also criticized a lot more heavily. And that's, like, the double-edged sword that they have to live with. Is, like, everyone focuses on them. If they make mistakes... Was this the deck that won yesterday? No, this is my own brew. The, the point is, though, that, like, when you're not the focal point of attention, you just get used to the fact that, like, it's got its ups and downs. Not being the one everyone focuses on, you know, sure, you'll get less, I don't know, credit. People will, you know, celebrate it less or whatever, but, uh, but it, but, but, like, you get used to, like, knowing that what you do is just as important as what the singer's doing, and it's easier to make mistakes. <laughs> Although, being a deck, uh, drummer that makes mistakes, it, they're usually, well, dropping the rhythm is inexcusable, um, Making form mistakes is not not the worst. You gotta know how to make your mistakes. Look at Ringo. Ringo's a very good drummer. That was a really good draw. You seen the breach list that followed the prelim? Looks really fun. I haven't, but I bet Jiggy Wiggy has. I wouldn't recommend dropping a base Roy. They're very heavy. You're probably gonna hurt your toe. The greatest disco song of all time is, of course, on my disco playlist. That's right, Kisses. I was made for loving you, baby. Hearing it now, live on the Mana Symbols channel. We're rocking on. Mm. I do my best, Radio John Murphy. I didn't know how long I had on it, so I, I kind of goofed the, the spot a little bit. I think I'd rather play Smith Stoneforge this turn than um, make a Construct. Hmm. 
I have so many options here. I think Greaves are the best. Greaves are batter skull. Can you make Smith bigger than the Goyf? Eventually. What Greaves? Greaves is so good. Batter skull might be better unless this if the Stoneforge dies. Stoneforge is very likely to die here, so let's just get something affordable. I've already got Crucible to grind them out brutally, so should be okay. I'm just trying to figure out the right way to play it, Shauna, that I don't... No, I'm definitely in the lead. I'm sure I'm in the lead, but, like, I'm just trying not to get horribly blown out. Yeah, this deck is pretty sweet. I'm very proud of what I've made here. Although I ripped off Contra Ego a bit. I agree, Freak, but the, the once, a, once a turn thing is, is really annoying on all these standard cards. There's just so many of them that... Oh, I was really hoping they wouldn't have that. See, this is... I was I was going to say, like, if they have a way to remove the portable hole or if they have a second Ren Insect and they just, like, ping off my Smith here. Okay, picking up a land? Okay, this, this is better, than, better for me than them picking off the Smith. I'm taking the hit if you attack opponent, but I don't think they're attacking. Good draw. Thank you, deck. What are they going to do here? Ping one of my smiths? Like, Lightning Bolt's going to kill... What? It, it is, Otto. I mean, if you managed to do it in standard, it would be quite the accomplishment, right? Oh, they fetched because they didn't want... Okay, right, right, right. I guess I could just needle the Ren and Six. How big is the Goyf? It's going to be three, could be four, but I can't make it bigger than that. Yeah, that's Needle the Ren Six. I think that's the way to go. Right in seven? No. And then what we're going to do is play an island and pass the turn. If on their turn they try to get cute, I uh, can put the Greaves in at instant speed to pump a Smith or the Construct token. So five, six? We'll get bigger, don't worry. We'll, we'll be bigger than it. I'm not worried about it. You have the second Abrupt Decay? Please no. Okay. That's fine. I will beat those. No problem. Shock. Luris to hand. Please no main deck KCOM. Most of the Jun lists I've seen are running something along the lines of uh, like two removal flex slots that are dedicated to either to Abrupt Decays and or Culligan commands. Sometimes it's a 1-1 one -one split. Sometimes it's uh, just two Abrupt Decays. Trigger. I guess I'm gonna put it in the nettle cyst here. Yeah, putting in nettle cyst was better. Oh well, it'll be fine. Good draw. I can still have a hasty cyst. Can I? Mm, that's fine. Uh, 
Oh yeah, it's a, a crackdown construct. Or consulate construct, something like that. I think it's crackdown construct. Oh uh, yeah, we could play that in this deck. I'm not at the moment, but you certainly could. Yeah, crackdown construct. Yeah, I, I should be playing one in this deck. That that came up today and I forgot about it, honestly. Okay, I'm officially out grinding Jund. And not by a close amount. They can put Lurus in hand if they want to, but there's nothing for them to get with it. Yep. Alright, who wanted um who wanted the the Smiths Smith to be bigger than the Tarmogoyf? We're officially there. I also have a germ token that's bigger than Tarmogoyf. I also have a construct that's bigger than Tarmogoyf. It's working! It's working! Wow, that's that's a draw and a half. Cool. <laughs> I could have put everything in on the the one construct and made it a fifty. No, sixteen, sixteen, lifelink trample. Thick, thick. All right, second pitting needle and a one soul guide lantern. So one soul guide lantern, one relic seems good. Spell bomb's still okay. Maybe we could just like. Oh, and I want the dispatches, right? Yeah, probably. That might be last god. Okay, I think I want to go down an Elsist. I kind of want to go down the Batter Skull, which sounds weird. But it's just a little bit clunky. Cauldra being indestructible is a big deal. Although they have Shadow Spear as well. But Cauldra can actually deal with like any number of Tarmogoyfs permanently. Uh, Thorn is not worth it. And... Second Springleaf Drum? Sure. 3-2 incoming? Probably. Yep, this is this is an opener against Jund. This is this is fine. Yep. Let's get this in play. Okay, drawing another land wasn't my favorite, but Probably okay. It's like Ren and Six or Goyf. Ren and Six, okay. Oh, I should have responded, but they left it on top, so I got lucky. Whoops. Okay, no wild use. Oh, and then I get to ending it. Sick. Works for me. And I got their Goyf under control for now, too. What did they leave on top? Abrupt decay. Okay. If I... Oh, they can't get any value out of this Renin 6. 
without another fetch land. So maybe this turn, let's just play Thraven Inspector and hold up the relic. Yeah, I think so. Where's Jiggy? He needs to know that I properly played around the uh, information I gained off of Mishra's Bobble. Oh. Well, that's fine. Damn. Well, they'll use the Abrupt Decay on that, but let's create multiple problems for them all at once. What's their next draw? Life, that's fine. So now if they abrupt decay, I'll be able to end step uh, as a crack a clue token. Oh, they didn't decay it. Hopefully they discard spell me again. I would appreciate that. Plays a goyf. That's fine. Nice draw. One, two, three, four. But yeah, it's no good. Be good next turn. No reason to rush. Little bit of reason to Zeppelin, but no reason to rush. <laughs> Squire. It really is, though. Like, Freeman Inspector's doing some serious work here. Do I do I block and then end step Relic to kill the Tarmogoyf? It's always such a cool line. I think I could just put a 4-4 four four into play and just block it right now. Then they'll have to take some action against that, which would probably be Abrupt Decay. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I can also shrink this by one if I need to. So I should see abrupt decay here. Block? Okay, so it's a 3-4. Continue taking actions, opponent. You must. Oh, that's not okay. Or is it? But it... Huh? Oh, they've got the abrupt decay as well. But that's okay, right? I don't know. 
I mean, they, so they, they can abrupt decay my my needle now, and then the the construct dies to the two damage it already took. Yeah, because the yeah. No, this this went pretty well for them, freak. It went pretty well for them. They whittled me down a lot, and they got their Ren and Six unlocked. They don't have any lands to pick up. Zero cards in hand. But it went pretty well for them, considering. And this is going to be able to ultimate soon enough. Like, I think I have to grab another uh, Pithing Needle for it. It's not really what I wanted to get here. Nothing for their Luris to get back yet, though. Which is good for me. I honestly don't know who came out on top of that exchange. I do not. Spellbomb? Spellbomb. Go, Squire! Slice. The fact that I couldn't grow my smith there is annoying. <laughs> Just gonna get pinged down. Turn felt like a bad compliment. <laughs> That's gonna be right. Red, red? Oh, this is terrifying. Nope, red, black. Terminate. Dash monkey. Does, does not ping my... Oh, it was just regular monkey. That's fine. I'll take four. Ooh! <laughs> Bram! You the can F run, Paulus. but you can't glide! <laughs> what is up, my doge? Hope you're doing well, friend. Thanks to follow their vantage. Vantage? Oh, it's re-needled. I'm an idiot. I forgot that I re-needled it. Sorry, there's a lot of stuff going on in this game. And an awful lot of stuff going on. Huge stuff going on, Kooky. Big stuff. I'm very involved. Some big stuff. Uh, attack you for five? Seems like the line. I guess they chump block and then just lure us and replay it. We tax their mana, though. I don't have anything else to play. Yeah, whatever. Sure you know what you're doing, opponent. Do I do deck techs? Well, the whole chat does deck techs anytime you want, Gan Gan Connor. If I'm in the middle of like a really complicated game, I won't be able to do it so well, but I, I'd love to help out. Also, all newcomers from Fran's channel, if you want to hit that refresh button on your browser, if you're live right now, just make sure you're properly in the channel. Make sure you're totally... Um, properly logged in to this viewing experience. Bransom61, thank you for the fun. Wow, what a top deck. Wait, they played it on zero? Oh, to kill my construct. Oh, but then they can play Luris and they play full. Oh, Jesus. Well, this is going to get really bad really fast. Oh, my clue token. Uh, and my hand is garbage. Ugh. What a rip. What an incredible draw from them. I don't have another pithing needle. Yeah, that engineer explosive draw. It's gonna be really bad really fast. All right, well, let's take the five here and see how she goes. Goodbye, clue token. I loved you. You could play the E for zero opponent, but I don't think it's getting you anywhere. 
I think they should have saved that for next turn and played on a one. Because it I mean it's gonna take all their mana to do that next turn. I guess they're worried about blowing up the Well, that's a sick draw. So trigger. How much is this? Two? Three. That's good, because they still have the saga. So I have to stay a little bit defensive right now. Ooh, team or ascendancy. Seems like fun. Team or ascendancy with General Ferris Rockrick. You might want to shave down to two ascendancies and get a 24th land in there, but otherwise you got some you got something going on. All right. Um No, I mean next turn I'm going to have to start making some kind of blocks. Um but I can grow my smith before combat. So it's a 4/4. Four, four. And then so that, that's that's good to block Luris. If they put the channeler, I might have to chump block it. They have to save the EE for combat and then pop it in combat to destroy the new construct. They're gonna hit me with something, but at the moment, like Thraven Inspector blocks Ragavan. Uh this Thought Monitor probably blocks this Tarmogoy Smith as a 4-4 blocks the Luris. So they're not flipping the channeler. Okay. So they're just in to recast the Ragavan. Wait, this is just so easy, right? Okay. Works for me. Okay. Okay, I think they're dead. I will not be making a construct on my turn. But the 5-5 five, five Ingenious Smith is going to pick up a Shadow Spear. And I have the Spell Bomb to clear one of their blockers. The Luris, I guess. They can flip their Channeler again. <laughs> yeah, Arena's Arena's got some uh, fun features, let's call them. So we have Shadow Spear. I still have Urian too. Trigger. Bounce Luris, they have one, two, three, four points of toughness. I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten power attacking. If they throw everything in front of the Smith, they'll still take two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm good. I could also play an equip sword of the meek. Not that it matters. Oh, yeah, I definitely could have done that, Ornos. I just kind of wanted to gain as much life as possible, just in case something horribly went wrong. I mean, they have no cards in hand. There's, there's no out here. I'm I'm almost, like, disrespecting them by not just killing them faster. I just... I just Because they haven't conceded, and this happens to me all the time, like, my opponent didn't concede, so I must be missing something. Unless they're assuming that I've missed something, which I have not. I don't know. Let's play another chump. I don't think it matters. Nothing matters anymore. Let's just go attack and kill them. I don't know what they're waiting for. The... Attack with all. 
Pop your E. Okay. And now your channel is flying. And then what? Okay. What are they waiting for? Marriage. This is not good enough. You're dead. You're dead and you didn't kill my smith. Okay. 3060. All right, we're two we're two matches away. We want to predict on a trophy. Anyone want to predict on a trophy? I'll try not to throw. I'll try. I, I, I can't promise that I'll try, but I'll try to try. <laughs> All my beans against Zach. Love you too, Morn. I haven't missed lethal yet. God, imagine trying at Magic the Gathering. Cringe. Maybe I missed lethal and didn't notice. No, we usually notice. People love pointing it out. <laughs> Thanks, Connorman. How you doing, buddy? Uh, nothing, Ponzer. It's water. It's just water. I might make a Tom Collins before the next uh, league. Have some nice gin and lemon. It's good for my voice, you know. I'm just a love machine. And it won't work for nobody but you. I'm just a love machine. Ooh. Yeah, good opener. Against Lurus. Maybe it's finally Hammer. It's been so much Lurus Black around recently. So much. Just a love machine, and I won't work for nobody but you. Ugh, what a banger. Put a multi of five on their Luris deck. It's gotta be Hammer, right? It's gotta be Hammer? Anyone else calling Hammer? I'm calling Hammer. Your rhinos is fourteen hundred dollars. Sky Noodle was eighteen hundred, wasn't it? Oh yeah, okay. It's Lars Black. Well, it's Grixis. Is there anything worth needling in game one at this point? No, 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 not at all. So we just do this and this and uh, this. There is no way on the planet they block this. Right? On their Mold of Five? Yeah, not a chance, right? A man cannot win a challenge in 5 0 in two days. Let's see.
Oh, it's Jess. Ka Wait, what? Jess Kai Luris DRC. Okay. Prismatic ending my Esper Sentinel and pay for it? Yep. All right. Yeah, they could have dressed down. They could have dressed down. Sagavan? Yeah, I guess it's Jeskai Sagavan. With Counterspell, though. Not Connor's build. Not Connor's build at all. Bet they're not even playing Esper Sentinel. Can you believe this? Oh. Five card hand, they flooded it a bit. Yikes. I literally don't think there's anything in their deck I'm actually afraid of at this point. I'm sure they'll have an unholy heat for my first construct. It's the second construct that's going to get them. Oh yeah, let's just get Relic. Right? Yeah. More, you don't want them to dress down me, do you? God, I hope they don't do that. I would be just a big old pile of upsetty. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> this meaningless Twitch currency, though, it's worth more than our friendship. All right, if they had a dress down, they would have played it there. They didn't even have the heat. Yeah. I mean, I was on the play, they mulled a five. I had a very strong start. So uh, let's get Soul Guide. Mm. I don't know what else I want. Probably to Fairy. Yeah, probably. Take a one nettle cyst. Um, probably Cauldra Complete. I don't feel like we're ever going to have Stoneforge stick around long enough to do that. The one Springleaf. Talking paper. Oh, okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I need more beans. Girlfriend just discovered cold brews. Cold brews are great. Cold brew coffee is delicious. Rounds and papers eighteen hundred. That makes sense. It's, it's all the forces. Four force of negation. Four force of vigor. Are you kidding me? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's not an okay amount. Can't keep that. Hey, how's it going, Dave? Just having a good time playing some Magical the Gathering cards. I'm sending a land bottom. Where's Mord? You better be proud of me. Good. No one drop? That's annoying. Let the greed flow through you. Hey, philosopher. Bing, 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 b
not going to play the Saga this turn because I'm a little bit worried about getting got on my way toward Urza. We'll play the Smith because if they have a Counterspell, I'll definitely snap off Counterspell on it. Next turn, we'll play Greaves, most likely, especially if they continue to not play a threat. Oh, wow. Uh, maybe you should have grabbed Sentinel. Trigger? Okay. No, we could fire this off now. They're not on black. They are drawing an Esper Sentinel. That's fine. You may have your Esper Sentinel. Oh, uh, who had that list of Reed Duke's decks to expect for Vegas? I'm interested in that list. I just want to know what the list looks like. I don't have double blue. Mord, you may have led me wrong. Reed is best homunculus. Is that a reference to what's it called? Um, full Metal. Were they homunculi? Is that what they were? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought so, Roy. What do you got, opponent? Blue white. Oh, ending? Sure. Oh, E on two. Oh, that's horrible. Again. I guess I'd portable hole it. Throw it in the hole. Can I play Saga here now? <sighs> Probably should. I really don't want to get hit by a tear. But I don't have the next blue yet. It'll get me to... It ain't the boys is late night. Nice. It's not the first paper event, though. Like, local paper events have been going on countrywide in both Canada and the States for months. The Hunter Burton Memorial Open was the best indicator, in my opinion, of what we should expect to see in terms of, you know, the kind of decks that people will bring. And it was mostly stacked with top-tier online meta decks. Especially the top 8, top 16, top 32. All the people that did well were people who are who are in the know and grinding. So it's I I maybe the money pile not as much, but there are people who just have those cards or who, who can source those cards, you know. I think there's a lot of places I think there's a lot of places that okay, can we, can we get this article though? Like I haven't seen it. Is there anyone have a link? That'd be great. Is there gonna end with Smith? Sure. You linked it? Did I miss the link? Thank you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I must have missed it. Burn. Yep. 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 What? It how is that missing so much? Yeah, like, how is that missing Rhinos and Living End? Like, did he just hit his word limit? He's like, eh, I'm done. You know what? I wrote enough. I always wonder about those those articles. Yeah, but, 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 well, I have a feeling that he didn't write it, not to be that guy. Yeah, it wasn't a pro article, so I'm going to go ahead and say there's a very good chance he didn't write that. So brave. The thing about Reed Duke is it's just like it's so hard to have opinions as Reed. No, I, listen, I don't actually want to be critical of the man. I don't know his life at all right now. I just, I've seen a lot of Channel Fireball stuff where I'm like, like, did, the, did this person really write this? This does not read like a person who actually knows what they're talking about wrote it. Yeah, I, I bet this stuff that 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 uh, that costs money is better written. I would assume.
Did I board out pivoting needle? I did. No, there, there's the one. I think I'm taking Spring Lake here. Hold on, let's play the thorn. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Well, that's fine. I guess them having red mana is quite dangerous. Not as d dangerous as this dress down is about to be, though. Oh, they're paying costs. Yeah, that's what it feels like, Mophistopheles. Like other other than Spike, it feels like that they're just. You want a one one, uh, two two, sure. It's all yours. I always assume people incorrectly evaluate what it means to steal your construct. Oh, please tap out. Oh, my God. Too free. Oh, this is about to be really unfortunate for my opponent. Doubters, get your shambles ready. Sorry, if I can tap correctly. Yeah, you can have a card. So EE -E on two is something I need to kind of play around. So let's do this into that. Put that there. I don't know. Eight, yeah. Well, we we could. I mean, we we could still go four one. But I would be more than happy with the four one. I'm just saying, like this 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 game looks real over. Verdict wouldn't even be that bad, Mord. Yeah, okay. No, I still have Oswald. I still I still have the bender. I have the last fiddle bender. I wonder if there's an avatar of the last fiddle bender. Hmm. So I've got this Royal Scions avatar, but. The Urza one I know is like some like 2019 something something. Yeah, they said their red mana came late. I, I, I did notice. Yeah. Do it. Clean sweep, huh? All right, give me one second. I'm just getting up. Thank you.
All right. Sorry about that, y'all. Oh, this is Boogie Wonderland, Connorman. Boogie Wonderland by uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. If you want the best dance playlist full of stuff that I've ever made, check this out, buddy. Badagaboosh! It is you. Am I worried about strikes? Only oh, I I will have to talk to the Twitch representatives once I if if I make partner. It is separated auto, so you'll see it's not on the vods, which, as far as I understand, is how people are currently getting copyright strikes. It could change at any minute. I can't imagine that I would be the person who gets hit for it hard. There are much bigger streamers, do make and canister. I don't want anything bad to happen to them. I'm just saying, like, it would be incredibly random for me to be one of the people who got hit. If I ever have to, I can cut it out of the stream entirely and just, it's just for me. A DMCA strikes. So... Usually what happens, Roy, is if you do something wrong, they'll give you a strike and say, hey, don't do that. And you have up to three before your account could be terminated. Okay, on the play. Oh, we'll be fine, Morb. Rhinos? No. Luris. Alright. Greedy keep. Uh, Luris Black. It's always the lurus black now. God. Uh, I'm glad I didn't mull, but... If we get just taken apart by a ragavan, I'm not going to be happy. Well, they probably don't have any main deck Saga Hate. Dr. Mean Dad! Ooh, uh, thanks for that. Prime Subaru. Caplands? They're just getting ported this turn? I don't mind that. Would I rather play Smith than the Construct? I think so. No, the Construct is, is free resources. It's free real estate, baby. There's a pool in the back. So they don't get to do anything with their mana that turn. Unless that happens. That's that was that was quite annoying. Thank you, opponent. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right, or don't. That is not what I wanted to draw. 
It's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Relic? Relic. Definitely Relic. Got a sweet catch-22 here. See, if they unholy heat me, then I can uh, sacrifice my relic in response to make sure that it's not for six damage. But then my construct token becomes a 2-2 and dies to the unkicked heat. Yes! We can game ourselves! It's all I've ever wanted! I really need them not to kill my construct here. Because it producing mana and being an artifact is going to be important to cast the Thought Monitor, which they currently can't drown in the lock. And I think they're struggling with their land drops and the fact that they don't want me to cast the Thought Monitor, but they might not be able to stop it. They haven't moved the needle at all. They're, they're probably not on Death Shadow, right? Because they haven't been aggressive. No, they're not on Shadow. This is going to be Grixis Monkey. Well, they have the land. Yeah, drowning the token is kind of something. Good draw. One, two, three, four means the Thought Monitor costs three. So I get to cast it this turn. God, that's so good. What a draw. Yeah. Jeez. I can't sack the relic this turn, so if they have a KCOM and they shoot my relic down, like, okay. But ho 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 ho. Wow. Deck does not want to lose. I love it when that happens. I love I love it when that happens. Every now and then your deck's just like don't worry, we're not losing. We could still lose, but probably not. Not one, but two Urzas. <clears throat> chicken for days, chicken for days. Urza, the other, other white meat. Urza, it's what's for dinner. Drown the sentinel. No, heat the sentinel. Sure. That's it? More. <laughs> Trigger. Sentinel. I know, Dr. Mean Dad, I, I would love to get four of them. I'm a little worried about the retro foils, the etched foils being curved. But I do have a, a full playset of Sanctifier on Vex. And... Oh, don't tell me they're going to go for this. Well, they can only target the Construct, right? If they target Urza, they get blown out so hard, it's really sad. There's no way. There's no way they misplay this hard. I guess maybe they're trying to get me if they do it. They play another land immediately. Okay... And then they drown 
the construct. Okay, sure. Okay. Are you are you trying to win this game or are we just okay? Whatever. Don't worry about it. Do I suicide the Urza into their Snapcasters because I have another one? <laughs> Probably not, right? No, I just hold on to the extra Urza. Sky Noodle. Oh, I totally clicked on that. Come on, game. Help me out here. Cool. Nice. All right, go ahead, opponent. <laughs> Thoughtsies. Okay. <laughs> That's a good moment. Dispatch. Soul guide. I'll keep the pithing needle in case of engineered explosives. I didn't like this. I didn't like that. Thorn, yes. Thanks for the follow there, Dungeon Master 110. And Felipe Alfaya. Dance it for you, Mord. <laughs> Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. I love it. I love it, buddy. I'm so happy for you. Somebody to tell you. I'll make chili for you someday, Mord. Three week vacation from work before the PT. So like start starting next week. You're gonna be like that that guy who like wins a chance to like um uh like throw throw a basketball from like half court and if they sink it they get a million dollars. So you just like take the next month off work to train for it. I mean, it's pretty similar, Mord, but it's also one of those things, like, when you have an opportunity like that, it's like, make the best of it. I will make chili for you anytime you want. I have some in my fridge. I'm going to eat it tonight. Right, exactly, Mord. Wow. They mold their seven. Nice. Okay, they got their six. Uh, for the for the PT or for the uh, uh, Innistrad set championship. I saw Wafo was playing uh, arena this morning. Did 
It's free real estate. There's a pool in the back. Everybody got the loose. I'd rather have the Soul Guide Lantern this turn. Although, if I play the Sentinel this turn and it survives, then I get to go Springly Thorn. But if they... I think I'm supposed to play the Sentinel here. Because no matter what, they're thought seizing me off something good. But if the Sentinel sticks, then I get to go Springly Thorn. Yeah. Like, so the disaster, the worst case scenario is that they play discard and removal this turn. Or I guess just discard with the kicker. No, removal, removal and then pay for my sentinel. They probably flip the channel and hit me for three. Yeah, the, the problem is, Trey, it's like, I have this spring leaf drum in my hand. It's not going to do anything. Well, we'll see. I assume this is them playing either discard or removal plus paying the, the sentinel tax. Which one? Oh, Dash Monkey. I'm blocking the shit out of this, right? Yeah. For sure. Probably means they have a second one. I can block the Channeler, though. The Monkey's only temporary. The Channeler would be dead forever. Let's do it. Let's do it. I suppose this turn I could play Springleaf Drum Soul Guide. Maybe that's better. Because then next turn I can play Make a Construct. I think I'm supposed to play the Thorn as soon as possible. They have a second monkey, I get a little bit beat up. If they have discard, I get... My life total's so okay right now. I feel like I can take a hit for three, no problem. Thorn just seems like it's going to inconvenience them so much. Thorn's going to slow me down a bit, too. But that's okay. Probably considerably less than their deck that's like mono one-drops. One-drop tribal. I do not want to see another Dash Ragavan. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm spending the next two turns making dudes anyway. What I'm really worried about is if, like, they blow up my Saga here, then I'm, like, really behind. Yeah, I, I, I agree, Trey. It's just, like... It's just it's just worth considering since I, I'm up on clock. I'm ahead in the game. It's like, why, why not just take a second and think about it? Now, the real question is, since they probably are just glutted up on removal... Yeah, I just play the Soul Guide Lantern. They can't play a Drown Lock or a Counterspell right now. Let's play Soul Guide Lantern and Mishra's Bubble this turn. Makes my Construct bigger next turn. I should probably just make the two Constructs, but it's it's just, again, worth, worth considering. They probably just got ported this turn, though. Like, yeah, they literally can't play anything. If they've got a Coligan's Command in hand. They're stuck. Bubble right on time. Hey, Fran. Hope uh, the Knight's treating you. Thanks, KO Diamonds. Congratulations on your existence. You're great. You're a cool person, and I like your... Oh, that's so rude. Alright, well, Saga's good enough. Fran knows you from before my stream. Nice. What are you going to name, opponent? Could be anything. Trey used to treat... Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw today... It was my first ever challenge win, yeah, Ponser. And only my second top eight? Third top eight? Yeah, sorry, Kale. I mean... 
So if I play an untapped land, I can play Springleaf into Soul Guide. If I play the Razor, I just play one. Eh. One plus Soul Guide. Knock out the monkey. Yeah, it's harder for them to get creatures in the graveyard. Crack them for four. This is fine. Uh, four color indomitable creativity, Kobe OKC. I have five mana next turn, so I can play your Ryan. All right, five ya. Nice. Nice. All right. Go ahead, opponent. I'm talking about the show. When my spot gets hot. Iteration for three mana. Okay. Enjoy. Feels like a clean sweep, because their Dragon's Rage Chandler has to attack now. So if they find a land, they might have to play a Blocking Monkey. If they miss land, do they just die here? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Yep. Opponent said, yeah, Thorn, me hard. Thanks for follow there, WKDKNT. Hmm. Yeah, nah, yeah. Take your beans, winners. I am not a magical... I, I'm a creative genius. No, uh, I'm really not. But uh, this is a very cool list to 5 with. I'm super happy about it. Hey, Trey with a gift sub for Fran. 22 gift subs, I think entirely today, you crazy son of a bee. Do one with the without the over thing. Have I invented the perfect modern deck? Absolutely not. Or is the fiddle blade? Yeah, that's probably a better name. Thanks, Kaya. Let's call it that. There's a blade vendor. Oh, I like that. All right, we got any more? We got more? Anyone got more? 
No, not that one. French Wombat. Not that one. Or is a blender? I love that. Oh yeah, Soul Strong. Yeah, it's uh, I I ripped off Contra Ego and Spike, and I made this pile. Or is a Noodle Blender? No, we've gone too far. Or is a Blade Bender is the best I I have so far. I think that that'll be it. Who is that? No. Um. I suppose I should get all the lands into the picture. No, because Uwurza doesn't say enough of the things that are in the deck, right? I'm definitely into nonsensical uh, combo deck names, but I, but this one like, I mean, obviously we could call this something like you know, hot butter toast or something.